नमस्कार जी बिजनेस की इस खास पेशकश बजट हैंगआउट में आपका स्वागत है और जैसा कि नाम से ही जाहिर है बजट हैंगआउट में हम बात करेंगे बजट 2016 के मुद्दों की और इसमें सबसे ऊपर नाम है स्टार्टअप्स का जी हां कुछ ही दिनों में वित्त मंत्री अरुण जेटली बजट की घोषणा करने वाले हैं और इस बजट पिटारे में स्टार्टअप्स के लिए क्या क्या घोषणाएं होंगी ये देखने वाली बात होगी और साथ ही साथ स्टार्टअप्स के दिग्गज इस बजट 2016 से क्या उम्मीद रखते हैं ये भी हम जानने की कोशिश करेंगे आज इस खास पेशकश में आज हमारे साथ जुड़े हैं कुछ खास मेहमान स्टार्टअप्स की दुनिया से ही सबसे पहले मैं आप इंट्रोड्यूस कराना चाहूंगी हमारे साथ हैं ग्रेग मोरान सीईओ एंड फाउंडर जूम कार ग्रेग वी एक्चुअली हेयर टू डिस्कस द बजट ट्वेंटी सिक्सटीन प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी इज गोइंग टू बी मेकिंग सम अनाउंसमेंट फॉर स्टार्टअप्स इन इंडिया सो इट्स ऑल बीन डन लास्ट ईयर दिस यू ऑल्सो बी एक्सपेक्टिंग समथिंग गुड फॉर द ऑन्टरप्रिनर्स हाउस यूर बीन एक्सपीरियंस इन इंडिया यू नो विद जूम कार Sure. So I actually I shifted here to Bangalore back in 2012 in September. Uh, so I've been here from now for about three and a half years. And honestly, I, I always tell the story. But when I first came in 2012, and now I look back on it, and now I, I fast forward three and a half years, it almost feels like two different countries uh, in terms of where we were then and where we are now. At least in terms of the mentality and the mindset. And I would say that's the one thing that has been most refreshing is that from that time, and and, and Deepak touched on it, uh, and, and that was even going further back. But really the Uh, around the notion of acceptability of, of kind of moving into a startup, and and now the fact that uh, you know I was at an event last week where um, the, the state government and, and the CM was there, and and he was really uh, very gun ho about startups in in Karnataka, and that was something which uh, I think wouldn't have been on the radar screen two three years ago. A lot of that's because of the PM now, uh, but I think it's great because it's about getting a conversation started. More than anything else, and I would say that you know, in just in terms of tempering people's expectations, we all know that things happen at, at the central government, and and that, that's something that even in my country in the U.S. that that would happen. Uh, but ultimately, people don't realize, and well, I think some people realize that things really it, when it flows downstream, uh, the state governments and then the, the local municipal governments have to take that last step from an enforcement perspective, even if you have good policy. And, and that's what I would really urge uh, all of us to kind of keep pushing as entrepreneurs to make sure at that state level. um things are actually getting done at that last mile something that you observed very closely wherein you had a problem with the indian government uh, you know intervening in your startup and something that you observed very closely that you won't actually want to change you would like to know about it Sure. Yeah, I, I think again, going back to the the point of sort of the state central demarcation uh, for us, when we moved into to new markets, uh, there there was a lot of confusion uh, because we were the first ones to really do self drive rental in, in India, and so that. Previously, hadn't really been regulated as such. I mean, they had drawn up some ar- arcane laws in the 80s, and when we moved in, uh, we actually had when we moved into our, our new state, which was Maharashtra at the time, uh, as our second state, we had to go and actually educate the the government, and the transport minister, on what our business was, what the law was. He actually would pull out the law book, and because it was so but, but, but complex. Was it, was it easy to explain him what exactly it was? Did he understand at the first go? After about four or five meetings, it was, and okay. uh, thankfully I had someone there who was speaking in Marathi, uh, so that that helped too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now we'll open the questions to the audience. Very wonderful audience we have from the Christ College. Uh, we have students here who are the budding entrepreneurs. पता नहीं आप में से भी कोई कुछ समय बाद यही ही बैठा होगा मेरे साथ. I'm sure. So uh, let's take a question from audience. जो भी entrepreneurs से क्वेश्चन पूछना चाहेंगे तो आप बता दीजिएगा आप अपना आपको इंट्रोड्यूस करिए अपना नाम लीजिए और उसके बाद क्वेश्चन एनी वन यू वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू वन एन ऑल गैदर डियर माय नेम इज टुल थॉमस माय क्वेश्चन वुड बी मिस्टर मोरान हियर गुड आफ्टरनून सर सो यू आर एन अमेरिकन नेशनल एंड द बिजनेस वेंचर दैट यू स्टार्ट ऑफ हैज ऑल कोर्ट मेंबर्स फ्रॉम अमेरिका लाइक मिस्टर लारी समर्स एंड ऑल सो वॉट एग्जैक्टली वॉज योर मोटिवेशन और ड्राइव टू डू द सेम आवर in india uh sure sure so yeah i think for me my my whole career and background my passion has always been around the environment and about building things that are at scale very very sustainable where you can look out 10 20 years 50 years and and know that you're kind of on the right trajectory uh, in a macro sense and, and so i had done work in india before but it was something where i always knew i wanted to tackle really large urban challenges as it related to the environment and sustainability and so uh, the idea of personal car ownership uh, was something where i knew that you were at very very low levels overall in terms of the the major tier 1 tier 2 cities in india 
and, and you also had hyperdensity where you had density levels 5, 6, 7, 8x uh, as those uh, in Europe or in the U.S. And so combining those two elements, I mean, there's really a tremendous market opportunity where you could look at a, a large sustainable industry going forward and the fact that it was a very large white space. Like, I think a lot of the guys up here uh, really started new industries, uh, so to speak. Uh, and I think that was something which really was, was quite enticing. So maybe want to take the jump. Thank you, sir. Greg, your chance to actually ask government what exactly you've uh, faced all this while, the problems, and what solution do you actually look from the government this time? I, I think for me, really, sort of cash flow is king for probably all of us up here in terms of startups. And so when you're coming up uh, within your first couple of years, really uh, a service tax and then also a VAT tax moratorium for startups is definitely in order, and that should be pushed out, I think, immediately. Uh, the other piece is that when you think about ESOPs and incentivizing your, your fellow employees, uh, really also uh, just looking back at that tax structure and, and simplifying that so you're incentivizing more and more folks to come in and work for you. एक तरह से एक हमारी तरफ से कोशिश इन एंटरप्रेन्योर्स की आवाज सरकार तक पहुंचाने की और जो जो इनकी प्रॉब्लम्स है सॉल्यूशंस क्या ये चाहते हैं बजट से क्या चाहते हैं इस बार सरकार से क्योंकि यही स्टार्टअप है जो ग्रोथ ड्राइवर्स है अब हमारी कंट्री के और इनकी ही तरक्की अब हमारे भारत की तरक्की भी होगी ऑडियंस का बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया हमारे साथ जुड़ने के लिए वेरी बिग राउंड ऑफ अप्लॉज टू ऑल ऑफ यू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर बीइंग सो सपोर्टिव फॉर द शो फिलहाल जी बिजनेस के बाद हैंगआउट में इतना ही बाकी खबरों के लिए आप देखते रहिए बिजनेस नमस्कार